Hello guys, welcome to another video. It's God Battle here and in this video I will be teaching you how to optimize your computer with these easy settings and mind you each of these optimizations work in any computer, any laptop, no matter what configuration, no matter what um, CPU or RAM, it will work for any computer at all. So the first thing you want to do is to right click on your Windows button and open tax manager so once you have done that as you can see this is um, our task manager dashboard right here so we are going to click on services So once you have done that, you're going to see this load of junk, which I'm sure you don't understand. So click on open services. Once you have done that, um, now, as you can see here, this is our tax manager. So we're going to minimize this one here and focus on this one. So now these are all our services. Okay. So normally usually it's going to be look like like this it, it usually looks like this so you want to make sure that you open more information just go to the tab here and drag it open so you can see everything clearly or you know so now we can see everything if normally this is how it looks when you come here for the first time so click on status and make sure that it's it sorts by running like it will first show all the running the running services before it shows the one that are manually off or disabled so now um i have already optimized my pc and you know i'm running on ggos a custom um, a custom windows operating system which is faster than the normal windows so these are like i have already disabled all these services before i even started making this video so you should probably make sure that you don't make a mistake and disable um any service that you're that going to be using so go to all the running services here and make sure you disable each of the ones that you know you're not using in your computer so for me i have already done that long time ago so just make sure that okay for example this one right here I'm not using this service as you can see it's running and it's not a Windows service nor Microsoft services it's from Intel graphics so I'm going to right click on it here and go to properties properties and once you have clicked on properties you make sure that it is disabled here as you can see it's disabled or you can keep it on manual if you will use it in the future and now you click on stop so now you're going to wait for the progress for this for the service to be stopped and apply your settings and once you have done that you are going to see that Intel the particular service that you disabled will be set to manual or disabled and to stop running on your, on your RAM and this is going to free your memory and give you more more RAM for your games or any software you want to use so make sure that you disable any particular service that you know you are not going to be using on your computer for example um, um, Xbox Live I do not use Xbox Live for anything, so I disabled all the Xbox services. Example, I see what I'm doing here. I have disabled all the Xbox services to run manually, so in case I want to use them, I can just click on the software and it will turn on by itself, but not automatically. So make sure that you set almost all of the services you're using to you're not using to manual. So anytime you run software, it's going to the service or any software that's that needs that service, it's going to trigger the soft the service. Like for example, here if I want to use 
MS Word. If I open MS Word, this the corresponding service here, which is Office 64 Source Engineer. Saves installation files used for updates and repairs, and you know. So once I open Word or PowerPoint or any Office 64 service here, I mean software, it's it automatically runs this Office 64 source engine. But once I close the the once I close Word or any of this, it turns back off. So that is why you should set it to manual. But if you're not never ever going to use it again, I just think you should disable it because they just occupy your RAM. So as you can see on my computer here, I have around I have about four gigs of RAM and available. I have over half of the RAM available to use for any other software or anything I want to do so make sure that you have done this so the second thing you want to do is go back to tax manager here and start click on this tab here called startup this any software or service you see here is going to run once you boot a computer so make sure that everything is disabled to avoid your computer booting slowly or late as you can see the last time I on my my laptop here it took 3.7 seconds for for the system to boot up so make sure that all or some of these services are disabled because they are going to occupy your ram and they're going to slow down your computer so once you have done that you can also watch all of my videos to learn how to optimize your computer and thanks for watching and don't forget to drop a like on this video subscribe and i'll see you in in a new video or the next video peace out Go shot, go shot.